at 12%. Let's tax the cannabis at 12%. Sadiq has launched the London Drug Commission, which is going to be headed by Lord Falconer, the former Lord Chancellor, to Tony Blair. The aim of the commission is to consider whether London should follow cities such as Los Angeles and legalise the use and growing cultivation of cannabis by adults. How Sadiq's plans go down, we will have to wait and see, but the Labour Party nationally has already come out in opposition to them. What's remarkable at this place is that you can smell it even before you can see it. As soon as you come through the gates, there's a very distinct whiff of cannabis. And it really is quite an extraordinary place. Just look at it behind me. It's like a forest of cannabis trees. So we put them inside here so that they can absorb the water and stay alive. One of the things I've been fascinated by is how, by decriminalizing cannabis, they've raised the quality uh, and the safety of the product, but also raised uh, literally millions and millions and millions of dollars in relation to taxes being uh, paid. So uh, an industry, an area that was illegal, criminals were benefiting a uh, black market in relation to the production and use of uh, cannabis drugs uh, has been transformed into a you know, lawful legal uh, industry where tax revenues are paid. There, is, there are very high standards of regulation, regular inspections. Sadiq Khan has now come to a cannabis shop where there are hundreds of products made from marijuana. This could of course be something of a political gamble. Could he, for example, now be known as Cannabis Can or the Marijuana Mayor? I'm somebody who's got an open mind about these issues. I'm somebody who used to be a lawyer, so likes to follow the evidence. So what I've done today is to announce the chair of the London Drugs Commission. He's a former Lord Chancellor, a former Justice Secretary at Queen's Council. He'll be leading a piece of work with uh, experts on his commission, working closely with uh, UCL. We all have prejudices. But rather than you know, prejudging the outcome, let's wait and see.